let us consider two identical bodies like this let's call this body body one and let's call this body body two they have given the temperature of the first body as 100 degrees celsius and that of the second one as 0 degrees celsius let c1 represent the specific heat capacity of the first body and c2 that of the second body it is given that the body with higher temperature is having higher specific heat capacity. So here C1 greater than C2. When these bodies are brought together, let us assume they are made to contact using a wire. The body, the hot body starts to lose heat and the body, the cold body starts to gain heat. Let, let us assume they attain a temperature T. Let T be their common temperature. And we have the heat lost by the, because the hot body always loses heat and the cold body always gains heat. We have heat lost by, lost by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the cold body gained by the cold body and we know the heat transfer the amount of heat transfer will always be equal to the product of mass of the body into the into its specific heat into the into its change in temperature this will be the expression for the, the amount of heat transfer. Since these bodies are identical, we have their masses equal. So let's call the masses as M. So here for the first body, M is mass is M and the specific heat capacity is C1. And the change in temperature, we only have to take the positive value. Since 100 degrees Celsius will always be greater than T because the temperature of the body lowers. So the change in temperature is equal to 100 minus T. For the second body, the mass is M1 and the specific heat capacity is C2. Since it is a cold body, it always gains heat or it, the temperature for the second body, the body, temperature of the second body rises. So the change in temperature, so that T is always greater than 0 degree Celsius. So the change in temperature will be T minus 0. Now you can cancel these masses. So it will be multiplying C1 with 100 minus T, you get 100 C1 minus C1 T is equal to C2 T. This will be 100 C1 is equal to C1T plus C2T. So 100 C1 is equal to, you can take the T outside, T times C1 plus C2. Or T equal to 100 C1 by C1 plus C2. Therefore, Therefore, T is equal to, you can take the C1 outside, so 100 C1 by C1 into, here it will be 1 plus C2 by C1, okay, C1 into 1 is C1 and C1 into C2 by C1 is C2, you can cancel this C1. So the expression will be T equal to 100 divided by 1 plus C2 by C1. Now look at the denominator 1 plus C2 by C1. See C1 is always C1 is always greater than C2. So C2 by C1 will always be less than 1. Clear? Since C1 is greater than C2. So this value will be 100 by 1 plus 
a value less than 1 a value less than 1 so 100 plus 1 plus a value less than 1 will be a value less than 2 so the denominator will always be a, a factor which is less than 2 when it is 2 the final value is 50 degrees Celsius when it is greater than 2 the value will be less than p so what will be the value when 100 by a quantity less than 2 which is always a value greater than 50 degree clear so the temperature will be so the temperature will be greater than 50 degrees Celsius so that's the correct option